I'll get to all your questions in a second, but John Frenzy's been sitting here very patiently. His visits for Wheaton Kia. You can find them in North Regina at the corner of Albert and Avonhurst. Frenzy, where do you want to start on the CFL stuff this week? Well, what we thought of Randy Ambrosi's uh, speech, what he laid out there, and uh, people asked me what I thought of it, and I said, well, I didn't think it was much different from the first one, from last year. Uh, he says, we're going to go all out, we're working hard, we're trying hard. He did say at the end of the speech, so we're going to have schedule out pretty soon uh, after we get everything settled. And uh, that left me cold. Does that mean there's a schedule going to come out? If a schedule's coming out, it must mean that he's got a go-ahead from all nine teams, right? Uh, well, of course. Uh, but I just felt, really, I wasn't that confident. Again, I'm quite honest with you. I was quite frightened at what he's saying. I mean, they got to make it this year. We've talked about this before, right? They got to make it this year. They're the only football league of any prominence this year that didn't make it something, some kind of season during this bad fall season. A lot of team, or conferences quit at the beginning of the season, weren't it playing. Then during the season, there was so much pressure on, like the Big Ten, to play. They made a little schedule up and uh, improvised and did it. They went out and did it. Now here, we didn't. So we were the only league of any major nation, major uh, concept that wasn't playing football last year and we can't let that happen again this year have two years in a row otherwise the league is gone i feel yeah that's a pretty good little monologue right there <laughs> that's like a lynch's last well, word what do you think of it <laughs> well i said it off the start and you were listening yeah there's just things that don't add up to me and i want the cfl back as much as anybody but if you we're going to sell season tickets and announce your staffs and put out a schedule, then you should be able to guarantee to the players there's going to be a season. I guess that is a virtual guarantee. Because, the, But the players are sitting there saying, we want a yes or no. I don't, I don't really know where they're at. But when you say the CFL is the only conference or league that's not playing, that's not true. Because Canadian University football is not playing. Canadian junior football is not playing. No organized football is playing in Canada. So I think, John, yeah. it's a bigger picture than just the CFL. Canadians need to realize how important the Canadian Football League is. And, and, and furthermore, I'm, I'm checking my social media here this morning, and I've just, if you go through my Twitter, which you won't because you're not on Twitter, but people are saying football's not that important. We're heading to more lockdowns. People are losing their businesses. Like, two things. People need to fight for the CFL like it's dying and nobody really seems to be. That's right? right. Very well put. That's absolutely right. Nobody seems to be dying. Uh, there should be somebody dying in each province, in each city. Where there's a For team. the CFL. For the team. Just to For clarify. The team. Yes. And there isn't. I'm sure there isn't. I, I just... I'd like to see a little I don't more, have that I'd like confidence. to see a little more urgency. Yeah, more, a lot more urgency. I can see a lot more. And I don't know what he meant by that. He's going to let this uh, schedule out. You said to me that there was supposed to be a schedule out today. Uh, that's the word. And... Uh, and he said, but if we got the go-ahead, when I get the go-ahead, that was his way out. And we thought, oh, 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 he hasn't got the go-ahead yet. In other words, it hasn't been confirmed with all the teams. Uh, it left me cold. Just left me cold. And Randy really sort of leaves me cold. That's not fair to him. He's trying hard. He's a good guy, but doesn't have the ability to get the answers. Is that right? Am I being cruel? No, you're being fair. You're being real. Yeah. But what answers do you want? I want to know if the uh, teams are all set to go, and then we can get the schedule out and we can have a, a signing. We'd be, I think most teams have several players from last year, believe it or not, still wanting to play with them. That's the impression I get. But another year of no football, they've got to go out and get a job. Got to go find a place to get a job and get a living. Feed some mouths. So definitely, if they don't well, have it, if, if, I, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. we got some great comments coming in here from Chris in Toronto, Chris Bird. To those who say the CFL is not important because businesses are struggling, newsflash, the CFL is a business, and thousands earn a living from this business. There's that. Nelson, if you can put it up, our VP of Sim Events, the CFL is a business, and those people could be on the verge of losing their jobs, their business and their jobs. Sports is a job as much as it is a game. Tired of that it doesn't matter narrative. 
And from Jason in Red Deer, he says, seems odd or sad to say, but I hardly missed or thought of the CFL at all unless it was being talked about. So there's two completely opposite opinions from three different people. Zach in Calgary says, well, Lynch is correct. They do need to have a job. But the one thing is people, have you noticed this? Everybody's afraid to say anything. Yeah, much. everybody's afraid to say anything. And I've got anything. so many people that are DMing me saying, thank God you're saying it because I can't say it. I'd be in trouble if I said it. Yeah. Why would it be, why would you be in trouble for saying, we need to be saved in the CFL? I don't know. But we've tried to get something going into in Regina right here last year. No luck at all from surprise people. Weren't interested. And there are people that have helped build this football team. So people should be backing off. And yeah, they're afraid to do anything. I don't know what's going to happen to them if they do anything. But they be, seem to be afraid to do that. And then if we don't have it, oh, they'll be the first ones to cry. I know I can't walk down the street without two or three people talking to me who I don't know. And they, want to, they let me know they want the CFL back. They loved it. And they tell me stories about loving the CFL. So it's there. People want it. I don't know what more we can do. Um, I am surprised that Larry uh, Ambrosi hasn't brought, oh, two or three prominent people, like um, uh, the, the, my, the coach of last year's Grey Cup champions, Mike, Mike what? Who, Paul LaPolice? Uh, Paul LaPolice, no, from, from Winnipeg. Um, Mike. Oh, Mike O'Shea. Sorry. Mike O'Shea. With him to Winnipeg. He's losing me. <laughs> but no. <laughs> you're and, killing it, Lance. And, and, and other people with him. To, the, to Toronto to meet the powers that be, showing them some uh, They don't care, Lynch. They, they, they don't care. I'm sorry. They don't care. Joe in New York says, people that say football isn't important are only thinking of the actual games. They're not thinking of all the people who make the entertainment industry run. From Jack in Alberta, I believe that the CFL needs to put players at the top of the list. Uh, from Wayne in Victoria, with what's happening in the world right now, I'd be surprised if the CFL plays next season. So <laughs> all those comments were great, and then Wayne's just very grounded in that. Okay, like, so you make a great point. Ambrosi should take Mike O'Shea to Capitol Hill, put him in front of Trudeau, and say, here's a guy that's the CFL is important. I'm talking to officials Lynch from every league. General managers, in a lot of cases that are saying we're not being treated that we're that important. They're not complaining, but they're saying the government's telling us we're not a priority. I've got it from league presidents. I've got it from general managers. And how, who the hell am I to argue with what the government's stance is when we're talking about health, although I don't necessarily think it's about health anymore. I think it's about politics, money, and fear. I think, as I said to you before, two months ago, the, the premiers of each province should go down in a group to see the minister in charge of sports in Ottawa, just to tell them how important it is to that province, to each province. But nobody's taking me up on that. So I get Right. That. Oh, I know. I'm just saying, who is fighting for the yeah, CFL right. right now? That's you're right. all. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.